Good morning everyone. So today the observer pattern. So this one is quite a powerful one and it's uh, useful to decouple and scale services in an efficient way. So the gist of it is just that you have a publisher service and you have multiple subscriber services and those subscribers will observe that publisher and the publisher will broadcast messages and then th those subscribers will uh, react to those um, messages and execute their own business logic. So let's see how it works with some uh, Go code. All right, so let's start uh, by declaring our interfaces. Let's define our contracts. So as we said, we need um, a publisher service. So then we're going to declare its interface and then we need um, a subscriber. All right. So then the publisher can um, add a subscriber to itself. So um, we can just take a subscriber and then we can remove a subscriber. <coughs> we can say um, it can take the ID of the subscriber to start with, to remove it from its uh, registry. And then um, finally, the publisher can publish a message, or we can say it can broadcast a message. All right, and um, on the subscriber part, we, um, we can provide a, a method to, um, to give the ID because you can see uh, remove subscriber needs the ID. And then we can have um, the business logic of the subscriber, which can we can call react to any message that it's gonna receive. All right, so that's our uh, interfaces, our contracts. So it's pretty straightforward. So let's see how it works. Let's implement um, the publisher and, and one of the subscriber and let's see how it works in the the code execution. So let's start with the publisher first. So here I'm just defining um, a struct. We're going to implement um, that publisher interface. So um, the publisher needs to hold a state and the state will be, um, you can define a, a map of subscribers. So the key is going to be the ID of the subscriber and then the value will be the subscriber itself. So it's just a registry. You could have built an array or something like that. I just found it convenient to have uh, just, a, just a map, a dictionary. So then we can provide a, a constructor method for that publisher. So we can just call it new publisher and then uh, we can instantiate this map to avoid any um, null problem. So we're just going to use uh, make in Go. So it's just building an empty dictionary uh, with a string as a key and subscriber as value. All right. So then in our main function, we can um, we can use the, the interface to, to make it safe. So you can see I'm declaring a P as interface. And then I'm trying to um, declare, declare P with the constructor, but you can see that my uh, publisher struct does not uh, comply to the interface. So I can just use the Golang um, shortcut to um, implement the interface. So then in Go, you can see how we implement an interface. It's just that the, the struct needs to have uh, those um, receiver method. Then it needs to have add subscriber, remove subscriber and broadcast um, functions, methods. So let's start with the, um, the first one, which is add subscriber. So then we're just going to add the subscriber to the, um, to the registry. So then the way we add uh, an entry in a map is just that uh, square bracket, the ID, subscriber.id, and then the we assign the value equal the subscriber. And that's it. So you're just adding into the, the map. Then the second one, 
how to delete on a map we're just using the keyword delete and then we provide the map and then the the key that you want to remove so then just gonna be a sub id in that case so just map manipulation in golang here nothing complicated and then um for the last one it's just that we're gonna uh, loop through that registry through that uh, subscriber uh, dictionary so then we're just gonna use a, a for loop for that a range sorry so then the first one is the key the second one is the subscriber itself we don't need the id so that's why i put underscore and then we are ranging through um, the subscribers so then because i'm using interfaces here i'm sure that subscriber will have the react method and then i just can send the message from the uh, from the entry point to that uh, react method so pretty straightforward so um well here it's just complaining that it's not used so uh we can we can just uh call a doomy broadcast like we can send hello but we don't have any subscribers so it shouldn't um trigger anything right there you go so it didn't do anything right so uh, let's implement a subscriber then so um same drill so we're gonna define a struct so we can call it just a subscriber and then um, we can define the property for that implementation which is just um, the sub ID that it need, it's gonna have to hold and then we can um, as usual create a constructor for, for that struct so just that you're passing a sub ID and then you're returning a subscriber where the you're gonna populate the sub ID with the sub ID that you're receiving okay so then we're gonna use the same trick because we need to implement the subscriber interface so we are using the Golang uh, Goland um, shortcut and we want to implement the subscriber there you go so yeah let's put the constructor first and then the methods after so then the id is just re returning the, the property then which is uh, s dot sub id this property and then uh, react uh, we can just put a log line and um, we can print maybe the id of the subscriber And then we can just print the the message that it's uh, received. Yeah. So then sub ID and then the message. All right. So um, so then let's build um, let's build a subscriber. So we can uh, call it uh, S for instance uh, S new subscriber and then ID one two three that's the constructor method and then we can uh, we can add a subscriber all right so then we're just passing the subscriber and then uh, your publisher can broadcast a message you can say hello again mm -hmm. so we're expecting subscriber one two three to do not receive hello because it was prior to that subscription but then uh, reacting to hello again there you go so one two three reacted to hello again excellent so we can just um create a second subscriber just for um make sure it's it's working as intended so then we're creating subscriber s2 and then we are um, adding it to the publisher and then you can see 456 received uh, hello again we can also try our remove subscriber um, from the publisher so then for instance let's remove the first subscriber so which is s 
app.app.app.app.app.app.app.app.app.app.app.app.app.app.app.app.app.app.app.app.app.app.app.app.app.app.app.app.app.app.app.app.app.app.app.app.app.app.app.app.app.app.app.app.app.app.app.app.app.app.